how do parents and families uh, even figure out what is wrong, Cassie? Because we know adolescents can come with mood swings, for example. Uh, parents will easily say, oh, perhaps my uh, teenager is, go- is just going through a phase uh, or maybe it's, you know, the first heartache. Uh, how do we correctly assess what's really at the heart of the problem? And I think we should start off remembering how difficult it is to be a teenager. You know, we all went through that. We all experienced it. But we often forget as adults, we just brush it aside. And these things that we've gone through, breakups, pressure, studying, um, dealing with grief or trauma, that they should just get on with it. Um, But it's about having those connected conversations. It's very normal for teenagers to feel moody and to go through things, phases that might last a few days. However, depression is not a phase. It's more than just a bad day or a bad mood. It's every day, and it affects so many aspects of their life. Physically, um, sleeping the whole time, not having enough energy, feeling exhausted, as well as dealing with headaches um, or not even being able to sleep, a drastic change in their eating habits, you know, losing appetite completely. But then there's also the emotional side, where perhaps they're withdrawing. They're losing interest in things that they used to enjoy. They're isolating themselves. They feel incredibly pessimistic and down. And and they start saying things like, I wish I wasn't here anymore, or everyone would be better off if I was dead, or um, I don't want to be a burden anymore. And I think as a parent, it's having to look out for these cues and realize that it could happen to your child. Your child could be going through this. No one is immune to depression. And having that connected conversation is really crucial. If you have that gut feeling, like something's not quite right, ask the question. Don't wait. So you're going to be hosting webinars for parents and teachers uh, next week on teen depression, uh, but also suicide. You've got a suicide crisis helpline. Uh, Can you give us more details, uh, the number for that, and uh, where can people log on if they want to uh, join these webinars? So we're hosting these free webinars to really just help parents and teachers have these conversations, what to do, really just to equip you with that support. And you can find all the details for these free webinars on our website at www.sadag.org. And you can register for free. And we encourage you to share this with your parents, your friends, your colleagues, your family. Um, It's so important to get this information and these skills. And then I think it's also to remember to save our number on your phone in case you ever need it or you need to give it to someone in need. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's toll free. Call us on 0800 567 567. You can also SMS us on 31393. The most important thing is get the information. Let's talk about mental health. Let's talk about teen depression, not just during teen suicide prevention week, but every day. Our teens need our help. We need to talk about mental health more. Current events Developing stories Tough questions Your voice making a difference This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa